Greetings and welcome to Shopville! We're in the small mart and this, this is the Shopkins Leap Off! Ready? Ready. Cheeky chocolate is go! <gasps> wow! <laughs> Beat that, sports fans! You wanna go next, Kooky? Uh uh, no thanks. Then I guess it's me! Apple Blossom, the game is on! Are you going to do it, Kooky? Don't forget to get a good run up! Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Ooh. Ooh. Ah! OMG, cheese! Ah! Apple Blossom, are you okay? I'm fine. Wonderful acting. I really believed you were scared. Your turn, Strawberry Kiss. I want you to act as if there are cheese monsters. Me? Lippy Lips, I can't act. Everyone can act. Go on. Well... Oh no, it is cheese. Terrible. Again? Cheese monsters? This is bad. Again? Cheese makes me so scared. No, 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 no! Oh, I told you I can't act. She was acting. Strawberry kiss? <laughs> Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. <laughs> Apple Blossom, prepare to be pranked. Hey, Strawberry Kiss! What's that noise? Huh, I have no idea. Hmm, it can't be the floor. Hmm, cheeky. Apple Blossom? Huh? Where has she gone? <laughs> Check you later! Shopkins, Shopkins! Okay, Spilt Milk! You've got to the end of the aisle to grab as much as you can! And... go! Uh, cereal? Uh, hairspray? Um, tuna fish? Uh, toilet paper? What did you get? Um... Nothing? I couldn't decide. Another turn? And go! Too squishy, ew, too squashy, ooh, too healthy, mm, too donutty. You know you're meant to fill the basket, right? Uh, I know, I know. This time I will definitely choose lots of things. And go! Oh, what to grab? Oh. Look at all the things I got!
Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Not far to the top, Cheeky. Good. It's a long way down. You guys can do it. Just don't do anything silly. What did Strawberry say? She said to do something silly. Okay. Don't be silly. Oh, sorry. Uh, I can't go on. We couldn't pass this anyway. We're stuck high up a mountain. So cold. So tired. I'm so tired I'm hearing things. No, I, I heard it too. What is it? In the sky, is that kooky? Um, why are you crawling along the freezer? The three of us have been climbing a mountain! Three? Uh, where's Strawberry Kiss? and work your way up from there? I am a karate expert. You are? Watch and learn. hi uh, Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Fine. Well, it looked pretty painful. hi -ya! That looked painful too. No pain, because I'm a karate expert. hi -ya! Ow. All good. Hiya! Uh, ouchie! Hiya! Uh, and that one so had to hurt. Hiya! Ow, oh, ow, oh, ouchie! Okay, I admit, I am not a karate expert. Because I'm a karate master! Hiya! Wow, she really did it! Wow! Hiya! Ow! I am never doing that again. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! <laughs> we interrupt this Shopkins episode with a special report. Shopville is in chaos after a major traffic accident. We go to Cheeky Chocolate with more. Chaos indeed, Apple Blossom. Some presumed maniacs spilt over a defenseless shopping basket. It is still unknown who or what caused this tragedy, but we'll be keeping our eyes open for this shop villain. And now, live from the freezer, it's Kooky Cookie with the weather. Cold. Oh. Thank you, Kooky, for that descriptive report. We now go live to Strawberry Kiss, who is about to report something amazing. What? Me? Um, amazing? Yep, but I didn't prepare anything. Our audience is waiting. <laughs> Amazing! Strawberry Kiss can cry strawberry jam tears. Who knew? And now a word from our sponsors. New Cheesy Cheese, now available in pink. Not actually available in pink. <laughs> Check, Check you later. You later. Hello, and welcome to the annual Miss Shopville Beauty Pageant Final. The winner will be presented by our mystery guest. Let's meet the contestants. First up, Strawberry Kiss. This sweet treat, Miss, hails from the fruit aisle and is a favorite. 
favorite for this year's Miss Shopville. Up next is Kooky Cookie. This surprise entry takes the place of spilt milk after a tragic fruit picking accident. Let's wish her a speedy recovery. Now to our first event, the fashion show. Strawberry Kiss is looking fabulously fruity in her large Louis Descon hat. How will Kooky follow this up? Ship. This could win her big points. On to the question round. If you had one wish in the world, what would it be? I wish I could meet Katy Berry. She's amazing. Who wouldn't? Now, Kooky, what would you wish for? Peace. World peace. How selfless. And with that, I think we have our winner. The tiara will be presented by last year's Miss Shopville. Cupcake Queen! Congratulations, Kooky, on winning this year's pageant. Oh, peas! <laughs> Thank you, Kooky. Here, you deserve this. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! As red as um, beetroots. <laughs> Will you be mine? Say you'll be mine. No way. Cookie or cookie. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Could I be losing my charms? Oopsie. Ah! Bonjour, mon chéri. Would you give moi the pleasure of dinner? I'm not hungry. But Beller, I can feel it in the air. 
All the signs are pointing to you and I together. You feel it too, eh? No, this needs to stop. I agree. He doesn't look like he'll give up anytime soon. Uh, what if we ask him out? What? No, she's right and I've got just the plan. So, are you going to tell us this plan? Oh, right. Well, you go over this way and then we go over around. Where are all of my beauties gone? My little toasty snookums. Won't you sing for me again? Well, hello there, my sweetie. I knew you could not resist these charms. No, me. Mwah, mwah. Ah. Doughy bear. He's mine. He's mine. No, he's, he's mine. mine. No, no, mine. 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 He's mine. mine. Oh, no. I must flee before their love for moi destroys us all. Au revoir, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Hello, Shopkins! It is time for our annual chocolate hunt. Cheeky will hide somewhere in the store, and the first Shopkin to find her wins their choice of either the bunny plushie uh -huh. or the new car! <laughs> if we fail to find Cheeky, the prize goes to her. That car is as good as mine. Cheeky, to your mark. Ready? Go, Shopkins! Cookie, aren't you going to hunt for Cheeky? Uh huh. Aren't you going to run? Nuh uh. Okay. Well, good luck. With us working together, we should double the chance of winning. Yep. <laughs> Nothing can escape our gaze. Yo, yeah, mon chéri, I will not let you escape me. Nothing can distract my keen senses. Sacre bleu. Who is this <laughs> handsome fellow? <laughs> <laughs> I've so got this car. But just to be safe, I'll head to my perfect hiding spot. That cheeky. Where could she be? Uh, oh no! <gasps> Sacre bleu! <gasps> Cheeky, are you okay? Yes, just get her off me! She's so heavy! But how? Well, I thought no one would be silly enough to still be at the starting line. Cookie ball! I was wrong. You win, Cookie! Pick your prize! Yay! At least maybe I can borrow the car. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Welcome, shoppers, to another day of adventure and discovery as we bring you Shopkins of the Wild. We start our journey with Spilt Milk, otherwise known as Cleanest Office in Isle Forest, who's refining her native camouflage skills. This carton of milk's ability in concealment is second to none. Here, we encounter the ferociously fiery Toasty Pop, otherwise known as Toastus Burntolotus, hunting in her natural habitat. Watch as she patiently stalks her prey. Her stealth-like movement renders her victims completely unaware that... <gasps> Sacre bleu! B -b -b burnt bagels and muffins! Ah, clearly this toaster has a lot to learn. And finally, after months of waiting, the baby-faced Shoppers Dummy Me Diaper Wiper is about to take her first steps. How magical and beautiful this delicate young... Hello? Oh, yes, yes, no problem. I can come around just after four. Fantastic, I'll see you then. Whoops, got to go. Well, it looks like we might be waiting some time for this Shopkin to <laughs> fully bloom. That's all we have time for this evening. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Have you guys heard about the mysterious Shopkin? The what? The mysterious Shopkin! He appears from the shadows helping Shopkins in need. Like a superhero? Kinda sounds far-fetched to me. What do you think, Kooky? No, it's true. I saw him myself. I was playing with Mimi when... Ah! And when I opened my eyes, I saw the caped shadow flying off in the distance. Burnt bagels and breadcrumbs. That was close. He saved you, too? I didn't know you had seen the mysterious Shopkin, too. What happened? Well, I was cleaning when this dust cloud came out of nowhere. Huh? Huh? <laughs> You saved me! Thank you so much! Wait, who are you? How do I get down? I was 
stuck up there for a whole day. Too bad you didn't see who it was. I'd really like to thank them. Well, you never know. Maybe it's a shoppy we know. That's true. Got any ideas on who it could be, Cookie? Where did she disappear to? Maybe she's the mysterious Shopkin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. way! Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Cheeky, what are you doing? Thinking. Thinking about what? The doors. The, the doors? doors? Yep. What about it? Well, what do we really know about them? They open and close. They're blue? No, I already know that. <laughs> I mean, what's past them? Oh, yeah. I guess we've never left before. Toasty said once she got squished in them, but I don't think that counts. Slick once told me that beyond the doors lies the land of Picnic, a land where mysterious monsters named ants rule and eat unsuspecting shopping. <gasps> How horrifying! Slick's just trying to scare you. There is no such thing as ant monsters. <laughs> I kind of figured. It's a fun story, though. You and I have very different definitions of fun. <laughs> I'm still no closer to finding out what's out there. Why don't you just look? What are you saying? I think she's saying you should look. Oh, ha ha. I know that, but it's not like I can just walk up to the doors, wait for them to open, then walk outside. It's just not that easy. Kooky makes it look pretty easy. What? Oh no! Kooky! I'm sure she's fine. But what about the ant monster? Oh no! Come on, guys, that's just a story. Besides, if it were true, what's to stop the ants from walking through those doors right now and eating us all up? Ah, ants! Uh, hello? Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Have you got it? Are you recording? Oh. Oh my gosh, Shoppies! I have so much to tell you! So much has happened in the last few days! We met the sweetest new Shopkin named Susie Sunday! Oh, um, hi! <laughs> and we have moved to the most food-tastic place ever! Shopville! We just love it here! Some of us more than others. <laughs> Who knew there was such a great big world outside the small mart? But I have to tell you, leaving wasn't the easiest decision for everyone. Come on, Cheeky. I promise nothing outside will hurt you. Um, if you say so. <laughs> Ow. Inside, however, is a different story. <laughs> She's okay now. There's so much here to see and do and learn. Like, what's that? Ah, uh, you mean the stationery store? Stat Ion Airy? Huh, sounds fascinating. Wow! Well, that's all for now. I can't wait to share our new adventures with you. Check, Check you, you later. later. Bye. Shopkins, Shopkins. Uh, hey, Libby, what's going on? You don't know? The famous fashion designer, Shady Diva, is in Shopville unveiling her latest line! All this for some shady lady? Oh my gosh, she's here! <sighs> Hello, darlings. Ah, I'm your biggest fan! I so hope you'll choose me as your next muse! Hmm, wouldn't you all? And what are you supposed to be? I'm Toasty Pop. I didn't ask who you are. I asked what you are. A toaster? Hmm. Toaster. Ta -da! Ah! My eyes! <gasps> oh no! What did you do? I'm so, so sorry. You! You amazing creature! You shall be my next muse! You're what? She what? I can just see it now. My new muse, you, Miss Toasty, shall be a star. Your face on all the magazine covers around the world. You'll be famous, darling. No, thanks. No? I know I'm pretty awesome, but I'm awesome just the way I am. Maybe ask Lippy. Ah! Maybe not. Very well, darlings, I'm off. Toasty, if you ever change your mind, be sure to contact me. Ta-da! I won't. If you like, I'll tell everyone it was you who turned her down and not me. Thank you. Check you later, darlings. Shopkins, Shopkins! 
Greetings, Shopkins, and welcome to the nail-biting finale of The Spatula. Our finalists are Lippy Lips, Susie Sunday, and Kooky Cookie. That's right, folks. It's all come down to this moment. Who will Slick Breadstick choose for the final rose? Let's see how our contestants went this week. Oh, my! I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life! Nor have I. Come to me, Bella. We must be together. Look at this dress. It's so beautiful. Sacre bleu. What? Did you see that dress? Tonight will be the most romantic, electrifying evening you have ever had in your life. Eh, uh, if Susie ever shows up. Oh, I like totes forgot about the date. Besides, I'm like only here because I want a rose. Like they're so pretty. Wait, are you like recording this? Mon chéri, let me use my strength to win a prize for you. Hmm, must be a prank. Look at Ma. Come, Cookie, let's not waste our time on this broken machine. Cookie bye. Cookie, my darling, please accept this rose. You are the winner. <laughs> well, that's all for this season of The Spatula. Thanks for watching. Check you later. When the clouds over Shopville start to crumble and tear, that can only mean one thing. Halloween is in the air. Spiders spin their webs, creepy, crawly, and spooky. And the full moon in Shopville makes everyone act a little kooky. And the jack-o'-lanterns glow to life with fire in their eyes. Ghouls and ghosts sneak up on you and boo you with surprise. Black hats cross your path. Bats swoop down from the night. Witches ride on broomsticks and cackle with delight. The clock strikes twelve. The scream cries out. Something's crawling on your head. There's no way you can hide from the terrors outside. Not even in your bed. Long shadows will make you jump as you peer across the street. And a shopkin will come a knockin'. It's time for trick or treat. Happy Halloween from the Shopkins. <laughs> shopkins, Shopkins! Welcome to the Shopville Speedway. What a day it is to be racing. Perfect conditions on the track for our three competitors. Toasty Pop, Cheeky Chocolate, and Strawberry Kiss. Who do you think is going to bring home the championship title? Eh. You're absolutely right, Kooky. Who knows who will win? It could be anyone's race. And we're off! Strawberry Kiss pulling ahead with an early lead. Follow closely by Cheeky and Toasty as we enter Shopville. camping trip I had in mind. Yeah, why are we here, Lippy? Shady Diva is back in Shopville unveiling her new hat collection. Aren't you excited? <sighs> Guys, can you at least try to not embarrass me this time? Hello, <sighs> darlings. Dusty, you beautiful creature, is that you? Why on earth are you waiting in this line? Come, my darling. Uh, what about my friends? Oh, it is far too bright outside to be judging your friend. Come, all of you, quickly. I am so glad you are here, darling. You are the inspiration behind my latest creation. Don't I look fab? Ah! Toast! Ah! They're everywhere! Uh, Toasty, that's just your reflection. 
Oh, so, my darling, will you change your mind and travel the world with me? You will get all the free clothes you could ever want. No, thanks. I'm already wearing the real thing. What about Lippy dressed as me? Still, ah! maybe not. Very well, darlings, I'm off again. <gasps> Never have I laid eyes on such beauty. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. That would be like the best vacay ever. I know, right? Hey, guys, what are you talking about? Where we'd like to go for our ultimate vacation. Ooh. So, where did you guys choose? Well, Susie and I would love to go to a tropical beach. Isn't this just like the best vacay ever? Totally. Yeah, that would be the best vacay ever. Until Susie melts from the heat. What? I'll get it! And Apple gets eaten by a giant sea creature. <laughs> ah! Uh, maybe that, like, isn't the best place for a vacation. Agreed! What about you, Strawberry? Well, I was thinking the snow would be lovely. Oh my gosh, this is so magical! It is magical until an avalanche comes crashing down. No, 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 no! Oh. Phew! And you get stepped on by an abominable snowman. Guys, I don't think I want to go to the snow. In fact, I don't want to ever leave Shopville. <laughs> like those things would ever really happen. Bye, guys. <laughs> ah! What's wrong, Cheeky? No, 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 nothing. Maybe we should just stay in Shopville for now. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. On the twelfth day of Christmas, the Shopkins gave to me twelve aisles of shopping, eleven checkouts checking, ten stockings filling, nine baubles twinkling, <laughs> eight Shopkins milking, seven shelves of candy, six racks of clothing, five broken Spreads oh. two sliding doors and a pet pen under the tree. Ruff, ruff. Season's greetings from the Shopkins. Shopkins, Shopkins. Ma'am, the calls are coming from inside the house. Ah, and the phone isn't even plugged in. Cheeky. Just remind you of anyone? Eh, not that I can think of. Maybe Toasty? Ah! Uh, Lippy? Uh, yes? You know how this movie is meant to be like the scariest thing in the world? Yes? Well, I think I know something even scarier. That shadow is coming from the projector! It was just a shadow. Hey, did you eat all the candy? No. Oh no, and I just changed the batteries. What are the odds? Ah! You, you go, go first. first. No, no, you go first. Ugh, fine, I'll go first. Huh. Cheeky, did you eat all the popcorn? Nuh-uh. Hmm, let's sneak up a different way. Milk bud! <laughs> Check you later! Shopkins, Shopkins! Okay, Strawberry, let's try this again. You ready? Ready. Fold the paper in half, staple four times, fold this bit here, add some butter, fold that bit there, turn upside down, fold the wings down, bend the wingtips back up, do the hokey pokey, and voila! The perfect paper plane! Easy! Now, your turn. Fold the paper in half, staple two times, fold these bits there, dip it in butter, turn it around, bend the bendy bits back, add some hokey pokey, and voila! Uh, at least it has wings! Coming through, guys! Get ready for takeoff! I'll never get my plane in the sky! Woo! Ah, Apple, what do I do? I know how to make them. I don't know how to fly them. Uh, hold on to the sides and lean left and right to turn. Woo! Nice work, Strawberry. 
<laughs> Thanks, Slick. Love is in the air. You later. Shock hands, shock hands. <laughs> hey, Cheeky. <laughs> hey, guys. So, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're like maybe running in the wrong direction. I'm training for the Shopkins Olympics, Susie. Oh, okay. I'm going to be the marathon <laughs> champion of Shopville. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Hey, I'm way faster than you, Cheeky. I can toast a bagel in like 10 seconds flat. Uh, I don't know if that's like the same thing, Toasty. You think you can beat me? Yeah. Let's race. Okay, so a last person standing wins. On your marks, get set. OMG, is that the newest issue of Shopfell Magazine? <clears throat> Susie. Uh, yeah, like a girl. Yes! Woohoo! I am the marathon champion! Whoa! Toasty, what are you doing? I'm making you the hurdle champion, too. Whoa! You know what, Cheeky? You deserve to be the champ. No pain, no gain. Uh, <laughs> shock you later. Shock hands, shock hands. the last place you saw Kooky? We were inside the Small Mart. I received a call from Lippy, but when I returned, she was gone. Cheeky Watson, we have one hour to find Kooky before it's too late. Oh no, why's that? I've got a dance class with Susie. I hope she's okay. Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll crack this case wide open. And we just got a step closer to solving it. Okay, it was me. I knew it. So, where's Cookie? Huh? I don't know where Cookie is. I thought you guys were talking about the mess. I ran away because I didn't want you guys to think I was so clumsy all the time. Too late for that. Then where on earth is... Hey, guys. Cookie, okay. where have you been? Shut up. Oh, why didn't we think to look there? This get up in that heat? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. Shop hands, shop hands. Arr, what a day it be to sail the high seas in search of bounty. What bounty are we in search of, Captain? Our spilt matey, the fabled treasure chest Before he and I, an old sea dog by the name of Buccaneer Bud, is rumored to have buried a chest full of mystical glitter that turns Shopkins into bleed Shopkins. Oh. I wouldn't get too excited yet, me hearties. It looks mighty dark out there. Aye, Captain. Arr. No, I, I mean use your eye, Captain. Arr, of course. How do you say thank you? Thank ye. Thank ye, cheeky crossbones. There it be. Steer us to course. <gasps> Shop, get me timbers. It be a creature from the depths of the sea. It be a, it be a sea creature. A sea creature. All hands on deck. What are you doing? What am I supposed to do? I don't speak pirate. <gasps> hey, guys. Are you going to play in the pond all day? Come on, there's so much to do in the park. Sounds fun. I just need to stop in at the small mar. Let's go play on the monkey bars. Don't you just love the park? See, Lippy, you can speak pirate. This won't get old anytime soon. Check you later. Shock hands, shock hands. I love, love, Love windy days in the park. Me too. It really opens up my outfit choices. But most of all, I love windy days because I can do this. 
Okay, you're like amazing in that scar. Who doesn't love windy days in the park? throw a ball. You just need to put some power behind it. Watch. Milk Bud! He, he went, went that, that way. way! Are you like 
sure you know where you're going? Don't worry, Cheeky's great at navigating. She'll get us back. Are you sure you know where you're going? Don't worry, Apple knows this place like the back of her hand. She'll get us home. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It begins. Cheeky, I. I don't know if I can go on any further. It's been 23 minutes, Lippy. How am I going to survive the entire night? I don't have my evening shade lip gloss. I'll have to change my name to Lippy Chapped Lips. Relax, Lippy. This shelter will protect us from the elements. This is it? Where's the extra closet space for all of my shoes? You don't have any extra shoes with you. Should we try and find a hotel? Nothing below four stars. Milk bud! Milk bud! Milk bud? Slick, what are you doing here? Uh, Mon chérie, uh, please help. I went for a jog in the park, but alas, I have lost my way home. Really? Milkbud has gone missing. We got lost looking for him, too. This is terrible. I adore Milkbud. Oh, I am so sorry, mon chéri, but I must find some water quickly. <laughs> hey, there's a small pond over here. Ladies, wait. Oh, thank goodness. I hadn't seen my reflection in over an hour. Be well, ladies. I must venture to find our four-legged friend. <laughs> Look, one of Milkbud's paw prints. Maybe we should stay here in case he comes back. <sighs> You're right. We can try again in the morning when there's more sunlight. Maybe we should get some rest. I'm like, oh, way too scared to sleep. <laughs> we'll be fine. Susie, did you look at this paw print properly? Uh-huh. Why is that? Susie, I don't think this belongs to Milkbud. that? Oh yeah, that ring. Hey Toasty! Oh, we're out searching for milk bud. I can't contain my excitement any longer. I have to browse! <laughs> Shop till you drop, Lippy. Yup. Too much bling. I'm falling. Ugh. Worth it. 
Hey guys, check this out. Ooh, a charm machine. I'd love to be more charming. I'm not sure that's what it does, Cheeky. Do you think I'll get a fancy accent like yours, Lippy? Hello, I'm Charmin Chocolate. Uh, guys, I'm not sure about this. So, do I sound charming? How's the small mart going? Toasty, are you there? You're breaking up. Ugh, it's so frustrating when somebody can't hear you. Hey, Susie! Hey, Susie! Hey, Susie! Susie! Toasty, I can't hear you. Hello? OMG! <laughs> How cute is this? Toasty, I'm gonna try to get better reception outside. There's a slight chance I was wrong about the charm machine. You think? What are we going to do now? Hey, guys! The Tech Tower is only a short distance from here. Maybe there's a gadget there that can return us to our normal size. There it is, up ahead! from Connie Console. Time to supersize some Shopkins. Ready, gang? Ready! Ready. Thank you so much, Connie. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no. My voice won't go back to normal. Ah, just kidding, guys. <laughs> 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 Milk Milkbar? Milkbud via satellite. I just need to pinpoint our coordinates. I could use some help. Are any of you good with computers? I know how to do a smiley face emoticon. Never mind. We're just about there. Ah! This always happens to me when I'm about to do something really important. Hey, Mel T, helping my new friends find their dog. BRB. Can you hear me now, Toasty? Oh, maybe my phone's broken. Oh, oh no! no! I'm really sorry, guys. We should go check if Apple's okay. Lola, are you all right? I'm fine. The bush broke my fall. Seems like the greenery is saving a load of Shopkins today. How about you, Apple? You okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? No, it's not that. I was chasing after my dog, Milkbud, and now he's gone, and I don't think I'll ever find him. Oh, no. I'm so, so sorry. I just miss the way he likes to be scratched behind his ears. I miss taking him out for walks. And I miss playing fetch with him. Playing fetch, huh? Yeah, he loved it, but we lost his ball, and... Now we've lost him. <laughs> well, if I were a dog who loved playing fetch and I lost my ball, I know where I'd go. Let's go, gang. We've got a furry friend to find. Get you a new ball. I think the 
this moment calls for a celebratory game of fetch. Who's in? Yeah! Go long, milk bud! Ugh. Oh no! I think we'll just buy another ball. Yeah. 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 Sounds yeah. good to me. Okay. Check you later. Blossom, proud candidate in the first election for mayor of Shopville. As an apple, I understand the need for wholesome core values. Cut! Do we really need a flag in every shot? Of course we do! This is an election campaign video. Let's finish this later. Susie invited us to the park. We don't have time for the park. Hey, are you guys ready for the park? Sure am. No, no, no. Apple doesn't have time for the park. We have a very busy campaign schedule today. Come on, Apple. You don't really need to do any campaigning. Yeah, you're totes gonna win. Besides, is anyone else even like running for mayor? Come on, dummy me. Quit doing that. Oh, no. Somebody help. Thanks, Kooky. You're amazing. So, uh, you want me to put this anywhere? <laughs> nah, nobody else. Way. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nope. So, Apple, have you picked out your theme song yet? My theme song? Everybody needs a theme song if they want to make a great entrance. Oh, um, gee, we should totally head over to the music store and create something cool for Apple. Fine. I'll add it to the schedule. Wait, we need to upload Apple's campaign profile pic first. Hashtag Apple Blossom, hashtag Bear, hashtag Bear Blossom, hashtag Shopville Selfies, hashtag Shopkin Selfies, hashtag Smallmart Selfies, hashtag Miss Slippy Lips, Miss Shopville 2016, hashtag Inspo, hashtag Shopkin Spo. You done? No, I just stopped because you were staring at me. Hashtag interrupted. Hashtag back to hashtagging. Hashtag hashtag. Maybe I don't even need a theme song for my campaign. Ugh, come on, Apple. We just need to create something really awesome. See? Like that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the shopkin who's been around the world. She has looks around her opponents. She's been campaigning up and down. The streets of Shopville spinning for your support. Please give a warm welcome to the future mayor of Shopville, Miss Yolanda. Look how many flags she has. She's got my vote. I told you about the flags. It's the campaign event you've all been waiting for. The Great Shopville Today, live from the Toy Store. Featuring your two favorite candidates, Apple Blossom and Yolanda Yo-Yo. Remember, if you get nervous, just smile. Being a leader is 90% confidence and 25% skill. I'm not confident in that math. That's the spirit. Now let's see that smile. I feel more nervous just looking at you. Okay, Yolanda just rolled in. Try to act natural. Hi, I'm Blossom Apple. I, I mean, hey, Apple Blossom. It is such a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, uh, you too, Yolanda. Hey, can we talk for a moment? Sure. If I told you a secret, would you tell anyone? No, 
I would never share it with anyone. Okay, I'm like super nervous about the debate today. I'm super nervous too. Don't worry, the debate will be all in good fun. I think we're on. Good luck. Good luck. Much. You are our hero. Okay, Shopkins, without further ado, let's give our candidates a chance to tell us why we should vote for them to become the first mayor of Shopkins. Uh, hello, I'm Apple Blossom. <laughs> I'm so sorry, am I hurting you? <laughs> Just kidding. Apple, tell us why we should vote for you. Well, I consider myself to be an upstanding citizen of Shopville. I promise to lead with honesty and integrity. Yolanda, why should we take yes for the yo-yo come election day? Well, I really understand the value of sharing with your fellow Shopkins, unlike Apple Blossom. That's right, Apple refuses to share her toy. When I asked her if I could play with her remote-controlled speedboat, this is what she said to me. No, I would never share it with anyone. Gulls, but I don't even own a toy speedboat. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Let's thank our two candidates for coming. I can't believe she would make that up about me. Don't worry about it. We know that's not the type of Shopkin you are. Who's that? So, Fortune Stella, will I win the election or do I need to be even sneakier? Ask again later. Will you even answer my question later? Ask again later. Uh, who cares? I'm gonna win. And when I'm a mayor, I'm gonna pass this bill requiring everybody to dress and act just like me. I don't care what you are. A shoe, lipstick, an apple. I'm gonna turn everybody in Shopville into yo-yos. <laughs> Ask again later. I don't want to be a yo-yo. I get motion sickness. We need to get that bill as evidence so nobody votes for Yolanda. Run! Too bad that wasn't my only copy. Better luck next time. <laughs> and then Yolanda said she'll turn us all into yo-yos. Oh, no. We need to stop her. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it won't be so bad. It'll be horrible! Uh, Apple, I think you should come outside. That's it! This needs to stop now! Follow me! In your opponent's billboards. Such an honorable act. Every candidate has the right to an honest and fair campaign. So, uh, did you want me to put these somewhere? Yolanda, uh, what do you want? You're not playing fair. I challenge you to a shop quiz right here, right now. You're on. Shopkins of Shopville. It looks like we have a shop quiz on our hands. You know the stakes, one incorrect answer, and you're out of here. Let's get to it, Apple. What year was the small market? 2013. Correct. Yolanda, who designed the Toasty Pop inspired fashion line? Shady Diva. Correct. Apple, who came second in last year's shopping cart rally? Cheeky Chocolate. Correct. Yolanda, what is in aisle 25 of the small market? Ask again later. Ask again later. I mean, do Trick question, there is no aisle 25. Apple Blossom wins. <laughs> okay, Shopkins, you know your candidates. Now, it's time for all of you to cast your vote for the first mayor of Shopville. Oh, yeah. This is, like, super suspenseful. The 
the moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Drum roll, please. And the first mayor of Shopville is... It's a tie between Apple Blossom, Yolanda Yo-Yo, and Cookie Cookie. So what do we do now? In the event of a tie, candidates have the option to pass their votes to another candidate. I hereby pass my votes to... Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom is the winner! I'm so sorry you didn't win, Kooky. You're such an upstanding candidate, Kooky. I mean, what you did for Apple. Huh? What do you mean? Kooky went around and painted over all those awful billboards for you. Kooky, you did that for me? Wait! This entire campaign, Yolanda and I have been too busy thinking about ourselves while Kooky has been helping everyone out. She deserves to be mayor. I hereby pass my votes to Kooky! Well, you heard her, Shotguns. The first ever mirror of Shotville is Kooky Kooky! No, no! I should win! <laughs> oh, there's no need to cry, Yolanda. I just feel so terrible. The only reason I was going to make everybody dress like me is so I didn't feel so self-conscious about myself. Every Shotgun is different. But that's what makes us so special. Huh, I guess you're right. So, Mayor Cookie, what is your first order of business? The expansion of Shopville. Congratulations again, Cookie. Oh, I can't wait to see the new places in Shopville. Perhaps you could build another clothing store? What are you going to build here, Cookie? Well, we need something to spice this area up. Maybe some sort of club. Check you later. for the opening ceremony, and you are not helping. Relax. I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... <laughs> like this. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? You want to be a winner? You need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this. Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge-up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's, like, kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the Toy Store, Sports Store, Music Store, Tech Town, Fashion Boutique, and the Small Mart. Please stand for the Shopkins National Anthem, sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da 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 da. No, Shopkins! Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event. Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. And saves it by finding the key the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Do us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. Too cold. Lippy Lips fails to jump. Now, for Team Sport. Simultaneously taking out the gold medal in both the water fountain diving and ice skating event. What a win! I can't 
can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched. <gasps> so what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable. But I'm still not happy about this. Great warm-up set, everybody. Only a thousand more to go. Ugh. Hey, Lippy. I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins. It's time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me. Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree. Ugh, fine. Come, quickly. Yes. There may have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. And they're off, Lynn Spring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no, an early upset as Lynn falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching the next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. Lippy takes one, Lippy! Sorry, Cheeky, I tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you take a seat over here? Thanks, Cheeky. Hey, you benched me. It's for the good of the team, Toasty. It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mark currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Uh, yoo -hoo. Hey, no fraternizing with the competition! Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mark! <sighs> I'm totally going to beat you. Connie Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. 
Now, for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Ugh. Mussy, mussy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique. The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the Small Mart, Sports Store, and Fashion Boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the games, the Shopville Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? Shopkins, it's time for the Shopville Relay! I can't believe I have to watch the relay from the stands! The following stores have chosen to combine their members. The Toy and Sports Store, the Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just cheeky chocolate. Okay then, let's get this relay under... Marks, get set. Wait! Guys, I'm so sorry. Nothing is more important than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. What a shake-up, folks. Apple Toasty and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's... On your marks. Get set. And we're off. Lynn with an early lead, followed by Apple. <laughs> Mike, with phone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lola and Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. It's a tie between all three teams! <gasps> what an amazing end to the games! Check you later! Tonight on The Spatula. I love this show, but I'm getting tired. How long have we been watching for? Not that long. 20 minutes and uh, three weeks! I have missed so many shifts at the fashion boutique. I better call Shady and... Never mind. She fired me. I think I missed something, too. Uh, yep. Dentist. And I missed my flight. Yep, I was meant to go traveling with spilt milk. Okay, we have to get off this couch. <gasps> Hello? Mayor's office? Yes. I need to speak to Mayor Cookie. The mayor can't chat right now. She's, She's in an extremely important meeting. <laughs> we need her help. It's about the small marks. <gasps> mayor Cookie, the small mart needs you. 
Let's go. Walk with me, Apple. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, we binge watched the spatula, and now we have a massive power bill. If we can't pay within the month, they're going to shut off the power to the small mart. Chuck, how much do we have in the budget? We spent the last of our quarterly funds building the new chef club, buying TVs to watch the spatula on, and this clipboard. Chip, give me your rundown of Chuck's analysis. We have no money. Okay, we need to brainstorm. The most important thing right now is not to get sidetracked. I'm hungry. We should get food. We should make cupcakes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. let's do yes, it. Of course. Nice idea. <sighs> Dig in, guys. Fresh from the oven. Stand back, Mayor! Ah! Is the mayor safe, Chip? She's safe, Chuck. Come on, Toasty. We're trying to save money. I don't want to have to buy my breakfast today. That's it. Why don't we bake food and sell it to raise money? The Shopville Fall Festival is coming up in a few weeks. That'll be a massive opportunity. Except for one small problem. Does anyone know how to actually cook? More sugar. Come on, guys, it's Halloween. Let's take a break and go trick or treating. If we never learn to cook, we'll never save the small mart. And a bit of fun never hurt anyone, Apple. Come on, where's your Halloween spirit? You're not even in costume. I don't have time for costumes, Cheeky. Now hand me that bag of flour, please. Fine. Ah! <laughs> trick! But I never even said trick or treat. Eh, at least you've got a costume. Now you're a ghost. How did our samples go, Susie? Well, nobody really wanted to eat our treats, except for those scary bone-shaped biscuits. They love those. Susie, those are Milk Bud's dog treats. <laughs> See, Apple, that's all the more reason to go trick-or-treating. We need to research what Shopkins actually like. Can I go too? <sighs> Fine, but can you at least help me clean up this mess before you... Nope, they've already left. <gasps> okay, I'm like totally freaked out right now. <laughs> I never get scared on Halloween. Boo! I'm a tree. Oh, Susie, <laughs> save me! You were saying, Cheeky? That was just a flinch. I'll go trick-or-treating anywhere in Shopville. Oh, yeah. What about that house? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not scared. I guess nobody's home. Ah! Hi, I'm Fleur Flower, and you must be scared. Get me out of this. Why don't you choose? Your way out. Is that fairy floss? Sure is. Made it myself. Made it yourself, huh? Finally! How much candy did you bring back? No candy, but I've got something even better. Somebody to help us cook. Is something burning? Because 
I want to taste it, but that means you'll have to cut it and it won't be perfect anymore. Great job, Lippy! These cakes will sell like crazy at the fall festival! I couldn't have done it without your guidance, Fleur! No problem at all! I'm happy to be teaching you guys! Uh oh, uh, photos first, then you can all try a piece. Whoa, whoa! Hey, guys! My cake is ready if you want to try it. Oh, yeah, we can wear it. Oh. Ready? Fleur, I'm not learning as fast as the others. Do you think we could do a few extra lessons? Of course we can, Toasty. Do you want to make another cake? I would, but I used up the last of the eggs. Well, you have to get creative with the ingredients you've got. Let's use buttermilk instead of eggs. Are you ready to become a chef? if you help down in the kitchen more often. Hey, I'm just glad that my meal is dry for a change instead of being burnt to a crisp. You want your turkey to be a little less dry? No problem. Hey! You know what? I actually have too much food on my plate. I should probably share with everyone else. Do, but I'd rather sit in the dark than be subjected to this gruel. I didn't mean literally. Thanks, Frida. That'll be two dollars. Any chance I could get one of those, too? I'm really sorry about the other night. To be honest, I'm just jealous because you're a way better cook than I'll ever be. Thanks, Cheeky. We're getting closer to our goal, Gab! The power's already been turned off and I cannot apply makeup without adequate lighting. Oh, no! Spilt Milk gets back from her trip today! I forgot to tell her about the power! Hey, guys. I'm back. Hello? What happened to the lights? Is this the switch? <laughs> Relax, guys. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, except for that. <laughs> eh, it'll probably just be a light drizzle. I feel I spoke too soon! I have an idea! Follow me! Oh! with the ingredients you've got. Susie, grab as much flavored syrup as you can find. Hey, everybody! Get your ice-cold storm slushies right here. Hey, do you have cola? Can I get a raspberry flavor? It feels good to have power again, although we need to be careful about our consumption. Totally. We should probably go to bed. I guess one more episode won't hurt. Definitely. I could watch another. I want to see what happens now. We could even finish the season. Check you later.
Uh, Dressing up as Rudolph this year, Cheeky? No, I fell face first into a bowl of cherries. You mean my cherries? I needed those, Cheeky. I know we need to move as quick as we can, but try to be careful, guys. How's the snow going, Susie? OMG, it's a winter wonderland in here. This snow is, like, super swirly, though. That's whipped cream, Susie. So that means I've served my pie with a side of canned snow. How classy. We need help, Apple. We've got so much food to prepare before Christmas Day, not to mention everything else that needs to be done. Hey, gang, what's all the fuss? Hey, Fleur, it's the Christmas rush. Guys, I think I let this sit too long and now it's turned to mush. Sorry, Fleur, we're a little stressed. I'll say you've made a mess. From the stuffing to the pudding, the list just never ends. There is no need to stress when you've tried to do your best. All you need is good old-fashioned help from your friends. We'll cook a Christmas feast filled with all sorts of treats. A really yum selection of savories. And sweets. What's that? It's really tasty. It's custard baked in pastry. Mm, you guys have got to taste this gravy. Sarah Tilithicus. Well, we help you hang the ribbon. Oh, no, what I'm doing! Just follow what is written. I'll take care of the chopping. While we hang up all the stacking. Just be careful in the kitchen, because the sink is out of clogging. Once we finish baking. We'll help with decorating. I spilled sauce on me. Don't forget to wear your apron. We'll be done in time for dancer. Dasher, fix, and prancer. Uh, who, like, ate the food we left for Santa? Sorry, I feel awful. As long as you're remorseful. All this food makes me hungry. <gasps> nope, nope, that's a bauble. We finished all the cooking. From the stuffing to the pudding. Now it's time to hang the star. Just, Just be, be careful, careful on, on your footing. footing. We've done our shopping spree. Wrap the gifts under the tree. Now we can finally relax. But you forgot about me. We're gonna stay awake for the first time until midnight. Midnight? Oh, that means I'll only get 14 hours of beauty sleep. I'll start to look like all of you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Eight hours. <sighs> I'm like already kind of tired just thinking about that. Don't yawn, because if you yawn, I'll yawn. Uh, uh oh. Stay strong, Cheeky! You're about to set off a chain reaction of yawning! The fate of this evening lies in your mouth. It's only 3 p.m. Plus, there's still a few things we need to do before the party tonight. I've written up a list of tasks for everyone to complete. What are you organizing, Apple? That! Now we can have a big New Year's Eve countdown. Who wants to see a 30-foot minute hand? Oh, yes, awesome. That is awesome. Oh, that is absolutely. Yeah. Cool. That'd be so cool. So, like, does time go slower because the clock is so bad? Still the same speed, Susie. Since you ruined Christmas for me, I'm gonna ruin New Year's for you. <laughs> Great <sighs> party, Apple. Hang in there, Susie. Not too long to go now. Ah! Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. Ah! Why are you all screaming? That's what you asked for, silly. I have to say, Apple, I'm not a fan of all this screaming. Makes me feel like a common garden weed. Spaghetti in the house! Why did you do that? Well, don't get lippy with lippy. Do you know how hard it was to find a spaghetti cannon? It's not exactly a household item, Apple. What are you all looking at? 
Why, why, why would you do this? That's what you asked for. Earthworks! Fireworks! I asked for streamers, a confetti cannon, and fireworks! Let me see that list! Hey, somebody changed this! We're sorry, Apple. At least we still have the countdown clock. Hey guys, it's nearly time. 10, 9, 8, 7! What's that noise? I knew we shouldn't have stayed up this late. Where did the clock go? Uh, I don't know. Hey, you think it's been longer than 10 seconds? Probably. Well, Happy New Year, I guess. Hey, Apple, we're really sorry about your clock. I didn't even realize what was happening. I should be more attentive. You know what? That'll be my New Year's resolution. That and reading an entire book. I'm going to clean out my closet. I'm gonna get fit. I might take a nap and figure my resolution out later. Oh, wait. I'm, like, totally gonna stop napping. Uh, I feel like I've heard all of this already. Okay, time to clean out my closet. Although I am hungry. Yeah, I could go with sandwich. After lunch, I might go shopping. We've never finished any of our resolutions. You know, we didn't technically see the clock strike 12, so it's not the new year yet. I say we make a pact to finish our resolutions before the clock is found. That may not take long, Cheeky. Mayor Cookie has the best Shopkins on the job. Check it, Chip. Reporting for, for duty. Ugh, oh, not these two little biscuits again. <laughs> you might have more time than I thought, Cheeky. Come on, Chip. We've got work to do. Shh. Okay. Chapter one. Hey, Cheeky, can you help me train? I'm trying to finish my resolution, Toasty. But I need you to help me finish my resolution. Okay, let's place anything that's old in the to-go pile on my bed. I can't be in here, Lippy. Your bed is, like, really making me want to take a nap. Well, don't fall asleep, because I need you to help me finish my resolution. We need your help! Keep up the pace, Toasty, and you'll be fit in no time. You get to read, Susie isn't near a bed, Toasty gets to work out, and my closet gets cleaned. Everybody wins. Did you hear that? It can only mean one thing. A fire! The clock! Oh yeah, I mean the clock. I guess I can always start my New Year's resolution tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'm up, I'm up. Shopkins, Shopkins. Shopkins. Uh, hi. What are you doing? Uh, what are we doing? What are you doing? Well, it's my birthday coming up, so I'm shopping for a new purse. I think it came from this direction. Mm. Mm. Now my hand smells like cherry cupcakes. You know, a clock that size would be better suited in a central location. Would you like some help repositioning it? We're hiding it. <laughs> Duh. Oh, from who? My friends. I mean... Uh, a group of acquaintances. Acquaintances who couldn't even remember to get me a Christmas gift. You better not tell. Act natural. I won't. Because I'm going to give you the chance to make things right. Hey, you, Cupcake, you were guilty of, of, of something. Hey, stop accusing my friends of stealing. Your friends? Of 
course, Yolanda. Speaking of that, why aren't you wearing the bracelet we got you for Christmas? What do you mean? Lippy, did you put Yolanda's bracelet in her stocking? Uh, sorry, Toasty and I were still braiding it on Christmas morning. It's a friendship bracelet. Oh. <laughs> Merry belated Christmas! We're gonna keep looking for our clock. Let me know if you see anything. Will do. <sighs> Morning, everyone. Ugh, what time is this? <sighs> 7.30. <gasps> Wait a minute! Guys, it's back! What's it counting down to? It's too early for the next New Year's. I'm sorry your New Year's was ruined in the worst way. So instead, let's count down Jessie Cake's birthday. What a great How idea! Cool. Oh, that's so awesome. awesome. This is such a lovely gesture. Oh, wait! There's another card inside. Every birthday party needs a cake and a Kate. Somebody wants you to have a special birthday. Any idea who it is? I have a few ideas. Check you later. To pull off. And why is that now? Because there's a giant clock in the middle of Shopville counting down to her birthday. Plus, I'm kind of standing right here. Don't you worry your pretty little head, Jessie Cake. It's your birthday, so you needn't lift a finger. Party people, I hope you left room for dessert. My, my, who was this apple of my eye? Hey. Hey. Little Blake. Apple Blossom. You dance? I dance. Then why are we still standing here like a couple of mannequins? Girl, bring that beat back. Woo! Those moves are lit! Just like these candles. Yeah! Drop that core. Yeah. Get after it. Mmm. Ah. Uh, show me what you got. I don't have anything to show him. I, uh, I mean... I got pudding for y'all, so, uh, enjoy. Okay, gang, let's take a break and enjoy some pudding. 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 Pandas! What about a panda party? New bouquet, we've already done that one. You know what? Leave it to me and I'll surprise you. Surprise. Surprise! delivery. Yes, over here. For Apple Blossom. For me? Yes, I'm from your secret admirer. I know. I'm just as excited as you are. So, 
just to clarify, I have no flowers. Uh, Sarah? Already on it! Yes, I'm waiting on a delivery of flowers for Rainbow Kate. What do you mean you ran out because of Valentine's Day? You won't be restocked for two months? Ah! Well, at least we have the venue sorted. Okay, so the venue has been double booked. I'm just gonna pop outside for a quick scream if anyone needs me. Ah! Maybe we should help her out with the venue and flowers. Hmm. This is the best birthday I've ever had. You know, I wasn't going to reveal my identity, but this day is too romantic not to. We can have it in the park. There's plenty of flowers there, and it's super romantic. So Apple's secret admirer might reveal himself. Unless you want to tell us who he is. Nothing would make me happier, but I've been sworn to secrecy. It's the flower's oath. So, yeah, party in the park! have the peanut brittle for dessert. Now, just be careful because it's quite hard. Oh no, are you okay? My tooth fell out. I think you're gonna need a crown. Come on, I'll take you to the dentist. Oh, uh, hey guys, what's up? I'm just hanging out. I broke my tooth. She what now? She broke her tooth. It was horrible. I don't think I'll ever be able to eat hard candy ever again. We better go. See ya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hard candy is the worst. Good morning, little Blaze. Come on, Tiara. You know it's Lil. Does Tiara look like the type of shoppy that would say, Lil, it's so uncouth. Rainbow, you appear to be more frazzled than usual. Frazzled? I'm not frazzled, I'm fine! I was meant to sort out costume ideas three days ago, not to mention the birthday girl needs a new crown, but hey, I'm totes fine! <laughs> so good to see you, okay, thanks, bye! A princess should never celebrate a birthday without her crown. Fashion boutique. Oh, this is... Your, Your hand, hand is, is on, on my, my crown. crown. Your, Your crown? crown? My crown. crown. Are you sure you're in the right section? Are you sure you're in the right shop? The more affordable outlets are in the next town over. <gasps> you have good taste. As do you. Tiara has impeccable taste. But this purchase is not for me. It's for Jessie Cake's birthday. Jessie Cake? Why didn't you say so? Do not fuss, my dears. There's plenty of sparkle to go around. You know, Rainbow hasn't picked a costume idea for the party yet. Maybe we could help her out. Share the sparkle, so to speak. Agreed. A little help never hurt anyone. <gasps> a little help? Who taught you how to speak? Little. I meant a little help. Shady, these shoes are stunning! I mean, look at me. Is that really me? It is reflection of you in mirror, but yes, it is you. Oh! Okay, I'll take them. Perfect. Now, where will you be wearing these wonderful shoes? I'll be walking down the aisle! Darling, I think we can do better than this Mall Mart. No, I mean, I'm getting married! Oh, congratulations, darling. It's going to be a perfect summer beach wedding. A beach wedding? But you cannot wear shoes to the beach. Oh, I never thought about that. How about a forest wedding? Snow wedding? You know what? 
I think I need more wedding inspo. Hey, guys. Let me guess. More wedding magazines, Bridie? Every issue you've got, Cheeky. Hey, guys. How's the tooth, Jessica? Oh, it's all fixed now, Rainbow. That's great. Can you help us out with something party-related? Of course. Great. Can you show us where the music store is? I'm thinking about booking a live band for the party. Actually, it's way easier to control the volume on a sound system, you know? Sometimes it's really hard to hear yourself when there's loud music playing. Eek! I love this track so much! Bye, guys! So how are the party preparations going? It's going to be so much fun. We're having it in the park. The park? That's the perfect location! For, uh, for a birthday. Actually, on second thought, Cheeky, forget the magazines. I gotta go! Now I get to unpack all of these. How fun for me. Yo, Braddy, what's with all the white decorations? This party is starting to look like a wedding. Uh, Jessie Cake just really likes lace, I guess. Yes, apparently. Where is everybody? Oh, they are so uninvited! No, no, no! This is all wrong! This isn't what I wanted! No, but it's what I wanted. You haven't asked for my opinion once this entire time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I guess I just get a bit carried away sometimes. What is it that you wanted? This. Everybody contributing ideas for the party and doing what they love. Guys, I have something to tell you. I'm getting married! Uh, to who? Oh. I knew I was missing something. Yep, groom. Or maybe Apple and her secret admirer can get married. What? <laughs> no, we can't. I mean, no, they can't. Whoever he is, <laughs> I don't know. Why are you all asking me? Nobody asked you. You just randomly blurted that out. Lil Blaze, you're my secret admirer? <sighs> yes, but I don't want to get married. I just wanted to know if you'd maybe be my date for the party. Of course! <laughs> Jessie Cake, I'm all ears. Anything you want, it's yours. Actually, there is one more thing I'd like you to do. Check you later. Would you give moi the pleasure of dinner? <laughs> you can have the dustpan. Ugh, come on, Apple. This is such a boring way to clean. Let's have some fun with it. How can you even make cleaning fun? Trash hockey. Maybe trash hockey isn't the best idea. <laughs> with pretty pressy. Well, at least I have your present, Jessie Cake. I'll just pop it over here. No! no, 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 no. no. 
So, full disclosure, I came here in more of a party mood rather than a cleaning mood. So, I might take off. Okay, bye guys, good luck! Uh, I have zero motivation to clean right now. It's so hot. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it! I think she's got it. If we want to get in the mood to move, we need a catchy song to clean to. That's a great idea! Does anybody have any catchy music, though? Blah, blee, butter, boo, a bit of beep, boo, bop, bop, beep. Uh, thanks for that, Max. But I was thinking of something a little more upbeat. Dear Audio Diary, I think my biggest fear is somebody listening to my diary entries. I really hope that never happens to me. Uh, minor technical glitch! I, uh, I mean this! This is the right track! Sparkles and rainbow glitter everywhere. Colorful streamers on the floor. All of the party fever's gone right out the door. But wait, I know there's so much more we could be. Riding on a roller coaster, spinning purple cotton candy, edible confetti in the air. Flying on a magic carpet, fill it in with magic markers, say the word and we'll go anywhere. The grandest mall, the greatest place, a never-ending shop is free in outer space. That old mess can wait, there's so much more on our plate. Let's go paint the town rainbow. instead. That oh, sounds yeah. like a totally idea. idea. Uh, I'm so thirsty from this heat. I think we drank all the soda last night. Is that a barrage? Oh, it's so hot. I think it's a barrage. Juice. <laughs> <gasps> hey guys, little Blaze has a pool. Cannonball! This thing 
no pool, it's sweat. Yeah! Uh, yuck! Uh, uh, what do y'all expect? It's hot, and I already got a candle on my head 24-7. Guys, don't even sweat it! Really? <laughs> Couldn't resist. I know how we can beat the heat. How? Let's just say I might <laughs> know somebody with an actual pool. I wonder who it is. Guys, it's me. I'm the one with the pool. I was being cute. Oh. Oh. Last one over to my place has to swim in little places. Sweat time! Yeah, let's go. Oh, you're real judgy for a pool owner. I thought y'all be cool. Cannonball! Ready. It's time to stop, Rainbow. I can't! I won't! I must continue, Tiara! I must continue! Besides, it's too much fun. Who doesn't want a party? I guess so, but I feel like we're using any excuse to throw a party these days. That's not true. Are you sure about that? Remember the other day? Good grief! It is warm in here. Why is the AC turned up so high? Housewarming party! That is not what a housewarming party is! We don't try to turn everything into a party. You sure about that? Remember the other day? Right on! bit of truth to what you're saying. Hey, gang, what are you chatting about? All of the parties we've thrown lately. There's been so many. That's true. <laughs> we've had some pretty fun times over the past few weeks, though. Totally. Remember that super exclusive party we had the other night? Woo! How cool is this? So exclusive. <laughs> I feel like a celebrity. That wasn't an exclusive party. You came 10 hours after we all left. <laughs> Maybe we should take a break from all the partying. You're right. We should focus on work. Or maybe we could take a vacation instead. Absolutely. Absolutely. We go somewhere to London. I'll arrive three days late. <laughs> Check you later. Just love mornings in Shopville. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. Buncho is doing his morning fitness routine. <laughs> I'm working on my car. Yep, another beautiful day in. Whoa! Jesse 
Cake? Are you okay? <gasps> oh, hey guys, what's up? Jesse Cake! <gasps> oh, hey guys, what's up? You didn't get much sleep last night, did you? I was up all night watching highlights from last year's Tea Jubilee. Competitive tea drinking? I watch it every year. Oh, but I want to see it in person so bad. Why don't you? The tea jubilee is always held somewhere in Europe. And that's so far. Guys, Shopkins huddle. This tea thing means so much to Jessie Cake. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I doubt it. Say what you're thinking. We have to figure out a way to get them to do the next one here in Shopville. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking about candy. But I like that idea. Don't you worry, Jessie Cake. You may not be able to make it to Europe, but we are going to figure out a way to bring Europe to you! doesn't convince them to have that big tea party here in Shopville, nothing will! Hello, and welcome to Shopville, a wonderful place to visit and hopefully the home of this year's Tea Jubilee! We have so much to show you. Tell them, Cookie. We do. Shopville is the perfect place for the Tea Jubilee! We've got it all! A grocery store! Plenty of parking! And just look how much everybody here loves tea! I love tea! <laughs> oh. And scent. Now we just wait for them to call and tell us they're moving the big tea party to Shopville. Hello? Yes? Really? No way! Okay, bye! <gasps> they're going to have the tea jubilee in Shopville? No, wrong number. Hello? <gasps> They're going to have the tea jubilee in Shopville! I can't wait to see the look on Jessie Cake's face when we tell her! You mean, I'm finally going to get to see the tea jubilee in person? That's... that's... <sighs> Tell her again when she wakes up. Shopkins! Shopkins! Okay, shoppies and shopkins. Thanks to you, Europe's grandest, most exciting competitive tea party is coming to Shopville! And that means we'll be hosting the world's foremost experts on all things tea. So we have to put our best foot forward and show them that Shopville knows how to tea party. Who can tell me the proper way to stir a cup of tea? Who can tell me the difference between an Earl Grey and a Darjeeling Black? Um, what's tea? We have work to do. Good, good, cheeky. Watch that spoon clinking on the cup when you stir. Bubblisha, elbows off the table. Donatina. Perfect pinky positioning peppermint. Oh, I've never been so proud. I think our work here is done. Wait, where's Buncho? <laughs> Did I do it wrong? <sighs> it's a good thing I like a challenge. Okay, just take it nice and easy. No. No. Definitely no. It's no use. I give up. Look, Buncho! He's doing it! Uh, oh, yeah. Perfection! 
action. <laughs> ah, close enough. Once the Tea Jubilee official gives Shopville a final approval, we'll be all set to host the big tea competition. Hmm. What? Huh? Why are you humming? Everything looks great. I just really want to make a good first impression. Just wondering if there's a way to make Shopville feel a little more... I don't know... European. Oh, I know! We could start talking with European accents. That's not an accent that exists anywhere. Don't worry about it. Shopville looks fantastic. It was just a thought. You know what? If Jessie Cake wants European, I say we give her European. I say that's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll stop doing that. Good morning. You must be the Tea Jubilee official here for the inspection. Indeed. We are so excited to be hosting this year's Tea Jubilee. I hope you find everything is to your liking. I say, what is that? Um, I don't know what that is. Ah, I see a very European clock tower says it's 10 o'clock. That's true! European Canal! I... I... I don't know what to say. I... Oh, what now? Oh. And now, the Shopville running off the bones! Miss Cone, I am so sorry. Never in my life have I experienced anything of this kind. This is all just a big misunderstanding. I... I love it. You what now? She what now? Every year it's the same old tea party. Sit quietly, sip tea, the notable absence of gondolas careening down the street. Uh-huh. The excitement of Shopville is exactly what the Tea Jubilee needs this year. A little unexpected fun. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Congratulations, Jesse Cake. You may consider Shopville approved. Let the tea jubilee begin. Oh, here comes that bull again. Watch me run. <laughs> Jubilee is finally happening, and right here in Shopville. Oh, Cookie, look! That's Queen Cake, the world famous tea expert. She seems nice. Hey, Apple, what's that? That's the VIP section for very important people. I'm very important, right? Excuse me. I believe that tea was intended for me. Whoops. 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 Bubblesha didn't mean anything by it, Ms. Queen Cake. And who are you? Jessie Cake, ma'am. I'm the Tea Jubilee's biggest fan. Fancy yourself a tea expert, do you? I... Yeah, she does. Bubblesha, I can... You think you can tea better than me? Yeah, she does. No, I... All right, then. You like tea? Let's have... Tea. Oh. It's a tea party throwdown! You know the rules. Good manners takes all. Go, Jessie Cake! <gasps> I guess Queen Cake wins. No, you had 
be beat. You threw the match on purpose. Why? Because you're Queen Cake, a tea hero. I could never beat you. This compassion and sportsmanship is exactly what the Tea Jubilee is all about. Jessie Cake, you're the real winner here. Wow, I can't believe you threw that tea match on purpose. Uh, yeah. Jessie Cake? <laughs> I'll never tell. After all, you heard what she said. I won the Tea Jubilee! <laughs> <laughs> You two look all happy. What's with all the happy? Well, after all the fun we had last month learning about Europe, we decided to learn about some other places around the world. Apple Blossom is organizing a big Shopville World's Fair. Everybody picks a different country, learns about it, and on World's Fair Day, teaches everyone what they've learned. I picked Lizard. Oh. <laughs> I picked Brazil. Oh, sounds like fun! I'm sorry, Buncho, but Rock and Roll California isn't a real country. I'm doing it anyway. Hey, Apple, which country should I do? Hmm, let's see what's still available. Ooh, how about China? Okay! Wait, I don't know anything about China. Oh, China is a wonderful, super fascinating place. You'll have a blast learning all about it. Sounds pretty good, but what if somebody else got the country that's best for me? Cheeky, trade countries with me. Uh, I don't know. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? We can switch countries. Great. Wait a minute. Hey, China is a wonderful, super fascinating place. Why didn't you tell me that? I did. I want to trade back. I'll do anything. Anything. You gonna tell her you haven't even picked a country yet? Have the dance within you, bubblegum lady. But 
Now is the time to try something new. Huh? That is your fortune. I have a knack for them. I will teach you your new skill. You're so wise. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Shiny shadow puppets! A perfect and culturally relevant solution to her problem. She has found her calling. I'm really getting the hang of this. Take a bow, shadow puppet me. Dove? Il negozio? Non è possibile! Can it be? Is that the sweet dulcet sound of the motherland's tongue I hear? Peppa mint! You learn to speak Italiano? Trying to. I picked Italy as my country to learn about for the World's Fair. Just thought it'd be neat to learn a few phrases. Bene, bene! Show me what you've got! Buongiorno! Come stai? No, no, no! You cannot learn to speak Italian from a book! The Italian language is already in your soul! You just have to let it out! That doesn't really make sense! Repeat after me! È il momento di fare una danza! È il momento di fare... Non mi chieda! Io sono solo in disinfettante per le mani! Non mi chieda! Andiamo a mangiare dei cannoli alla spiaggia! Andiamo a mangiare dei cannoli alla spiaggia! What am I saying? You said, let's eat cannoli on the beach. Cookie? Since when do you speak Italian? It was already in my soul. I just let it out. Peppermint, you require no more lessons. You are ready. Ready for what? Who are you calling? A random shop in Italy. Ha! Now speak! Ciao, ciao. C'è qualcuno là? Uh, uh... Speak, Peppermint. Speak from your soul. Mi piacerebbe comprare un carello di gelato. How'd I do? Eh, okay. What did I say? You ordered a gelato card. <laughs> I'll take a scoop of strawberry. No! Uh. Uh, not for me. Thank you. No? Seriously? Uh, okay. Oh, you bought a gelato cart? By accident, and they won't take it back. Accident on purpose? <laughs> Makes no difference to me. Hit me with a raspberry. Oh, oh, yes! That's so good! So good. I like so good. I'll take a lemon, please. That's the stuff. Hey, everyone, you simply must try this gelato. Delicious. That's too many people looking at me. Get them to leave. They'll never leave as long as you're making gelato like this. <gasps> oh. Make something gross. Huh? Okay, one fish and broccoli gelato. Mmm, that's good! Crusty day old baby food and sauerkraut. Mmm, you gotta try this. Wet noodle and olives, lemon lime dog food, sweat sock jambalaya. I have no idea what this one is, but it sure is gross. Yum! It's no use, Peppermint. You are completely incapable of making a bad gelato. You have a gift and you must share with the world. But I... I can't face all those Shopkins. I have an idea that will keep you out of the spotlight. But you need to make a little more gelato first. One at a time! One at a time! There's plenty of gelato for everybody. I got another request for that lemon-lime dog food. Here you go. Keep them coming, Peppermint. 
And when you get a chance, can I get one for myself? What are you in the mood for? Surprise me. Something with old cheese. This isn't the contest, right? Right, right, I know. But still, I'm totally winning. <laughs> Peppermint has some new gelato flavors at her Italy booze. Get your gelato here. We got quadruple berry explosion. We got chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. We got the mystery flavor of mystery. Hey, get back here! Pookie? No. I'm gonna have to take my shadow game to the next level. <gasps> wow! Look at that! Huh? Huh? New flavor over here! Did somebody say shadow dragon? We have sprinkles! My shadow puppet has her own shadow puppet! This isn't what World's Fair Day is supposed to be about. What are you doing? Fusion! Put your boots together and share the crowd. Gelato! Get your ice cold gelato here! Hey, everyone! Apple and Bacho just pushed their boots together, too. Mexico Australian Fusion? Oh, this I've got to see! Oh, Mexico Australian Fusion! 